To make our selection, I would like to introduce the first overall pick from the 1988 entry draft and the 129th pick from the 2007 draft. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Medano and Jamie Benn. It's good to be back in Big D. Scary to think it's been 30, 30 years since 1988 came around and it's been uh, a wonderful trip, a great experience. This night tonight was one of the fondest memories I've ever had in my life and uh, I hope all the kids enjoy it, uh, absorb it, it's a great feeling. And uh, being up on the stage, I know Jamie, you didn't have a chance to be up on the stage. They definitely don't let uh, the fifth rounders come up on stage, but it's uh, a pleasure to be up here with you. <laughs> well, it goes to show you don't you, you prove you don't have to be a first rounder to win an Art Ross Trophy. I'll trade I'll trade that Art uh, Art Ross Trophy that uh, me and my teammates won for that uh, Stanley Cup banner any day. Well, without further ado, I'll let you have your moment on the stage and announce the star's first pick. With the 13th pick of the 2018 NHL entry draft, the Dallas Stars are proud to select from the flint of the OHL, Ty Delandria. Stars, a huge pick for the Dallas Stars. And it's back-to-back -back 53s. Noah Dobson just went a moment ago to the Islanders. He wears 53 for the Acadie Bathurst Teton. Number 53 on the Flint Firebirds is this young man, Ty Delandria. In the OHL draft, Flint didn't even talk to him. We all know about the controversy with the Flint Firebirds. His parents talked to him and said, what do you want to do after you got selected? He said, I've thought about it. I want to go there. I want to make a difference in Flint. And he has. Almost a point-of-game player. And you might look at that and say, well, where's the point production? It's there. He just doesn't have the call didn't have the complimentary players around him this year but if you look when he played on the biggest stages whether it was the u18 whether it was the ivan holinka whether it was the chl nhl top prospects game when he was surrounded by complimentary players that's where ty delandria really shone this is a great pick for the dallas stars darren yeah, flint firebirds had an ownership situation the owner was playing a son that the team actually walked out at a time and it, it, it was a mess for a while and he went there. Yeah, and he went there and said, I don't want to just be part of things here. I want to be the solution to the problem. So when you talk about the NHL Combine and looking at the interviews, this guy dazzled every single team that he met with and it speaks to his character. After they made some trades in January, he walked up to Ryan Ulan, the head coach. He went into Barkley Branch and Joe Birch's office and the management group there and said, you know what? Guys, do you need me to do more here? I know we've gotten younger. But the fascinating story about this guy, and not a lot of people would expect this name to go here, but there's a story that occurred in October. They found out he had celiac disease. He changed his entire dietary routine, and then he really started to take off. He felt better. He could recover better. He had really good energy. The first 43 games of the year, this guy had six goals. They figured out the dietary issue, and down the stretch the last 43 games, he had 21 goals with less help than he had starting the season. So Ty Delandry is a guy who's all kinds of character, and the skill is a little bit undercover because the numbers don't exactly represent how healthy he was early in the season. 